Your name is beautiful. I worship you, Lord, for you are mighty. You got a word in your heavenly Father, heavenly Lord. Your name is wonderful. Your name is excellent. Your name is powerful. I worship you, Lord, for you are mighty. You got a word in your hand. 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 You got a war in your heavenly Father, heavenly Lord. Your name is wonderful. Your name is beautiful. Your name is excellent. I worship you, Lord, for you are mighty. You got a war in your hand. You got a why why in your hand. You got a word and even heaven in your hand. You got a why why in your hand. You got a word in your hand. Heavenly Father, Heavenly Lord. Your name is wonderful. Your name is beautiful. Your name is excellent. I worship you, Lord, for you are mighty. You got a word in your hand. You got a word in your hand. You got a word. In your hand, you got a why why In your hand, you got a word in your hand. Amen, amen. Blessings and glory, glory, glory. Praise the dance table. Ah, oh, no. Power of my be unto her God forever and ever. Amen, 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 amen. Blessing and glory, wisdom, thanksgiving, ah, oh no, oh no, power of be unto her God forever and ever. Amen, 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 amen. Blessing and glory, 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 wisdom, thanks, give them honor, power and mind. Be unto her God forever and ever. Amen. Let's go ahead and begin to worship the Lord. Let's lift up our voices. Let's begin to adore Him. Let's begin to exalt His holy name. Let's magnify Him. He's worthy to be praised. He's worthy to be adored. Worthy to be exalted. Worthy to be lifted on high. There is no one like Him. There was no one like Him. There has never been anyone like Him. Let's worship our King. Let's worship our Redeemer. I am that I am is His name. Is the lily of the valley, the brighter morning star. Let's worship Jehovah Nissi. Let's worship Jehovah Rapha. Let's worship him that make it the heaven and the air. The one that seated on the throne in heaven and make the earth is supposed to. Father, we worship you, Lord. I exalt your old name. I magnify your old name, King of glory, Lord God Almighty. Lord, I declare there is no one like you. You are the incomparable God. You are powerful, God. You are, you are the most powerful God, all power on earth and in heaven. 
devil belongs unto thee. Father, there is no one that can withstand you. There is no one that can stand against you. There is no one that can conquer you. There is no one that can resist you. You are the Almighty, the Most High, the God of heaven and earth, the God that speaketh and it is done. You are the one that commanded and is established. You are the God that was, that is, and that is yet to come. The same yesterday, today, and forever. The Almighty Father, I bow before you. I worship you. I exalt your holy name. I adore you. I magnify you. I declare there is no one like you. No one has ever been like you. No one will ever be like you. You are the Most High. The Most High God, I worship you. The Most High God, I worship you. The Most High God, I worship you. The God of all flesh, with whom all things are possible. The God of all flesh, with whom nothing is difficult. The God of all flesh, the Father of all spirit. Blessed, 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 blessed be your name. Thank you, faithful Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we worship. Amen. You want to lift up your voice, you want to thank him. You want to thank him for his mercy, you want to thank him for the salvation of your soul, you want to thank him for fighting in your battle, you want to thank him for not forsaking you, you want to thank him for all his goodness. In all way, you know God has been good to you. Can you just go ahead and begin to thank him? Even in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, thank you, O Lord. Jesus, thank you, O Lord. Saviors, thank you, O Lord. Redeemer, thank you, O Lord. The Most High God, thank you. Thank you for my life. I thank you for the salvation of my soul. Thank you for the forgiveness of my sin. Thank you for yesterday. Thank you for today. Thank you for tomorrow. Thank you, O oh God, for being there for me. Thank you for your abiding presence. Thank you for your eyes, O oh God, that is all that, that watches over my life. Thank you for the, your light of countenance that shined brighter upon my life. Thank you, O oh God, for my going out, for my coming in. Thank you for fighting in all my battle. Thank you for answers to my prayer. Thank you for your miracle signs and wonders in my life. Thank you for your anointing upon my life. Thank you for your grace in my life. Thank you for my home. Thank you for my wife. Thank you for my children. Thank you for preservation. Thank you for your defense. Thank you for the covering of the blood of Jesus. Thank you for safeguarding my life and the life of my family. Thank you, O oh Lord. Thank you for your provision. Thank you for food. Thank you for money. Thank you for clothing. Thank you for shelter. Thank you for not putting me to shame. Thank you, oh God, for sound mind. Thank you for deliverance. Thank you for healing. Thank you, oh God, for divine health that I enjoy you. Lord, I am grateful for the health of my wife, for the health of my children. I am grateful, oh God, for your preservation. Blessed, 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 blessed be your name. Thank you, my Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. You want to ask God for mercy? Is there any sin in your life that will hinder answers to your prayers today? You want to cry to him to have mercy and let him forgive your sin. Shall we go ahead and begin to plead for mercy? Father, I come before you, O Lord, God of heaven and air, have mercy on me, O Lord. In any way that I've erred, in any way that I've sinned, in any way that I've wronged thee, that I've disobeyed thee, in any way that I've gone contrary to your word, that I've gone contrary to your instruction, in any way, O God, that I've not done, O God, what I, you, you require me to do. Father, please forgive me. Forgive every of my disobedience. Forgive every of my wrongdoing. Forgive me, O oh God, in all ways that I've sinned against thee. Father, have mercy on me and forgive me. 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 Forgive me of every sin, O oh Lord. Forgive me of every iniquity. Forgive me of every unrighteousness. Father, please have mercy and forgive me. Father, just be merciful unto me. Oh, Lord, 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 be merciful unto me. Even in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, faithful Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. You want to cry to God, whatever law that has to be suspended, for you to move forward in life. Let God cause that law to be suspended for your sake. 
even in the name of Jesus Christ. Any law, any natural law, whatever law it is that is in place that have hindered your forward movement in life, let the law be suspended for your sake to move forward now in the name of Jesus Christ. Say, Father, can you call him to you? I say, Father, every law that has to be suspended for me to move forward in life, every law that have to be suspended for me to fulfill my destiny, let it be suspended now by fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Open your mouth and pray that prayer. Every law, whatever law it is, that must be suspended for me to move forward in life. Whatever law it is, that must be suspended for me to fulfill my destiny, to fulfill my purpose in life. Lord, I come before thee. I cry to you the most high. Let it be suspended now in the name of Jesus Christ that I might move forward in life. Let the law be suspended. Whatever law that has to be suspended, it will for me, oh God, to break through in life. Whatever law that has to be suspended for me to fulfill my destiny. Lord, let it be suspended now. Lord, let it be suspended now. Lord, let it be suspended now. Every law, Marada Satalada Shetili Anda, Yelelebo Zagada Galagada, that must be suspended for me to move forward in life. Lord, let the law be suspended now. 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 In the name of Jesus Christ, that I might move forward in life, that I might break through in land. That I fulfill my glorious destiny in life. Whatever law that is standing against my advancement, standing against my forward movement in life, Lord, let it be suspended that I might move forward. Even in the name of Jesus Christ. Mandu Sutele Brudu Sahali Kashedi. Inrodo Zuli Indrele Jagada Kodo Kodi Indreja. Himamama Zudi Anda Luku Jekele Karodobo Zudi Anda. Thank you faithful father in jesus mighty name we pray amen you want to cry to god let every irreversible loss in your life let it be reversed tonight. Whatever loss you have experienced in life, whatever good things that you have lost in life and that seems irreversible, let the God that can reverse the irreversible, reverse that loss now, so that 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 you have lost will return back to you, even in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Say, O oh God of heaven and earth, can you please call him with all your heart? Say, O oh God of heaven and earth. Can you call him one more time? Say, O oh God of heaven and earth. Every irreversible loss in my life. Say every irreversible loss in my life by your mighty power, by your almighty death, let it be reversed tonight in the name of Jesus Christ. Open your mouth, begin to pray that prayer. Open your mouth, begin to pray. I don't know the loss in your life that seems irre 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 irreversible. I don't know the loss in your life that seems permanent. There is a God that can reverse the irreversible, even if can reverse the lost time. It can reverse the lost opportunity. It can reverse the lost ground. It can reverse oh that that seems irreversible. Cry to him tonight. Let him reverse every irreversible loss in your life. Whatever irreversible loss in your life that have stagnated you, that have stopped you, that have tied you down, yeah, that have overwhelmed you, oh God, that seems as if I've shut the door of advancement against you. Let God in his almightiness reverse it tonight. Every irreversible loss in my life. Oh God of heaven and eh, Lokarada Busataya. Let it be reversed tonight. 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 Let it be Reverse to now, Maradaga da gada gada, Yele Bobo, Zudi Anda, Makata Karo Bobo, Lianda. 
Marada Zuturianda, let it briva, 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 let the irreversible loss that have reduced me, Eli, that seems I've sealed my faith negatively, Eli. Lord, let that irreversible loss, let there be reversed up tonight. Baba, manifest your almightiness, reverse the irreversible loss in my life. Oh God, manifest your almightiness, reverse. Reverse the irreversible loss in my life. 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 Mando satelebo shete re prada sete di anda. Ilado zanda korobo shike lebo bobo. Let the irreversible loss be reversed tonight. Let the irreversible loss be reversed tonight. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you faithful father in jesus mighty name we pray amen now somebody new to pray this prayer you want to cry to god whatever debt that is hanging on your neck whether known or unknown debt let god in his almightiness clear away all your debts in the mighty name of jesus Christ. are you ready to pray now are you ready to pray now? Say, O oh God of heaven and earth. Can you please call him one more time? Say, O oh God of heaven and earth. Call him just one more time. Say, O oh God of heaven and earth. Every death, known or unknown, that is hanging on my neck by your mighty power, clear it away tonight. In the name of Jesus Christ, let me become debt free. In the name of Jesus Christ. Open your mouth and pray that prayer. Cry to God that can pay all your debt. If he can pay the debt of your sin, what other debt can he not pay? Let him clear away all your debt, whether known or unknown to you, whether physical or spiritual debt. Let God clear it away tonight. Every debt that is hanging on my neck, every known and unknown debt, every physical or spiritual debt, Father, oh God, that is hanging on my Father, in your might, in your almighty name, Father, have mercy on me tonight. Clear away all my death. 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 Father, clear away all my death tonight. Marudo sedi handarabo shekiria. Imbrada lulu zalida korubo shendele karada bobo sutori andalada bobo shetiri handa. Inko koko zuda gada gada ilelele bu. Rada zozo imba mama roda aga da ga da ga 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 ilugu la 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 ba clear away all my death let me be called dead free indeed in the name of Jesus Christ precious Jesus set me free indeed from all manner of death in the name of Jesus Christ Lord Jesus set me free tonight from all manner of death every death that is hanging on my neck mama rada zo ala la zo ilada egi Lord, let it be clear away tonight. Father, clear away all my death. 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 Manduba supali du sata imbrada sutoli anda elelele burada zuri anda lubu shaka imbrodo zulada ilala burada eli alaboya mama mama mazuzu indi gaga dora ilulu ya let all my dead, oh God, be clear tonight. Father, supernaturally clear away all my death, even in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, faithful Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Father, we thank you because you are the most high. Thank you for answers to our prayers. As we continue briefly into your word, we pray you speak to us. By your word, we ask that you establish a victory the more, even in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, faithful Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Let somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to welcome you. Once again, to uh, this service, 
Amen. And then we continue tonight. What we are still looking at is what is tied to the supernatural. Amen. The supernatural. Amen. Now, we said that life is governed by different natural laws. This la these laws are in place to guide or to regulate the existence of life. Amen. You know, many of them, you know, for example, you have the law of flotations, you have the law of diminishing return, you have the law of gravity, and so on and so forth. Amen. And we said that man, being a natural being, is subject to all this law. Amen. Now, this law regulates the existence of man. This law is there to guide, you know, the existence of man. Amen. Praise the Lord. And we said, whenever there is a default in any of this law, there will always be a consequence. Amen. There will always be a consequence. And this consequence is what sometimes, you know, we refer to as challenges or affliction or trouble or debt or issues, you know, and so on and so forth. Amen. Now, also, this law many a times posed as an entrance or limitation to man's dreams or desire in life. Many have beautiful dreams, they have desire, oh, but because of natural law, the natural law stand as what? As an entrance. They cannot achieve their aim or become what they, they dreamed of becoming. Why? Because at that material time, there is probably there is some things that are not yet in place, or there are some things that are in place that are not meant to be in place. Praise the Lord. So the law can be sometimes be an entrance to man's feelings, his dreams, or what, or aspirations. Amen. But we said that when man connects with the supernatural or switch to the supernatural mode, then all this natural law will become suspended or reversed so that for man to have his way or to achieve his aim. Praise the Lord. Now, let me show you something in the book of Matthew chapter 14. I want to read Matthew chapter 14, verse 22 to 23. Amen. Now, they say, and straight away, Matthew chapter, I'm reading Matthew chapter 14, verse 22. I'm reading through to 33. It says, and straight away, Jesus constrained his disciples to get into a ship and to go before him onto the other side, while he sent the multitudes away. And when he had sent the multitudes away, he went up in, on, into a mountain apart to pray. And when the evening was come, he was there alone. But the ship was now in the midst of the sea, tossed with waves, for the wind was contrary. And in the fourth watch of the night, Jesus went unto them, walking on the sea. And when the disciples saw him walking on the sea, they were troubled, saying, It is a spirit. And they cried out for fear. But straight away Jesus spake unto them, saying, Be of good cheer, it is I, be not afraid. And Peter answered him and said, Lord, if it is be thou, bid me come unto thee on the waters. Praise the Lord. Okay, maybe we need to stop there. Verse, let's stop at verse 27. Amen. Now, you know the story very well. Jesus have just had a crusade. Amen. And then towards the, uh, you know, at the end of the crusade, oh, the disciple, I mean, asked that, well, you need to disperse these people because it was in a desert place so that they can walk, they can go and look for something to eat. And Jesus said, no, we don't need to send them away like that. Let's give them something to eat. Ah, And the disciple said, well, <laughs> where are we going to get the of bread, enough meal for all these people. Amen. So Jesus asked, what do you have? The, uh, we have this little uh, bread and uh, and, and uh, fishes. And Jesus said, bring them. And they were multiplied to the point that every one of them ate to, you know, to their field. Amen. They ate to their field and they even took up the fragments that remained. 12 baskets after eating. So it was not, there was no limit to what each person could eat. You, I mean, no one is saying, no, 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 don't take more than one, don't take more than two. They all eat to their fill. And the Bible says the people that ate were about 5,000 men beside women and children. Amen. Now, little meal. Amen. Just little meal was able to all be, get multiplied. 
praise the Lord, you know, and the people probably, they have never seen such a wonder. Oh, free food, free meal, delicious meal, amen, and they held to their field. Amen. Now, so after that, it was like, okay, uh, disciple gather, they gather 12 baskets. Amen. Okay, people, the meeting is over. Oh, you can go now. And it seems as if it was difficult for them to disperse. Amen. Oh, they don't want to leave because they have eaten. Oh, free meal. Amen. I mean, it seems as if, oh, the more they say, please go, the service is over. God bless you. You can go. You can go. And the more people were still there waiting. Amen. And Jesus said to the disciples, okay, no problem. You know what? So that let them know that we are ready. I mean, we, we are really ready to go. I want them to go. You people can go. Let me continue to send them. Just uh, 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 enter the ship and then uh, uh, prepare and then let's go. Amen. So I perceive Jesus was saying to them, you can see that we are already on our way. Please, all of you, you can go, you can go. And the Bible says, when he has succeeded in sending the multitude away, oh, he now decided, oh, let me just pray a little bit. Let me thank God for all that he has happened. And the Bible says he went into the mountain, you know, and he was there all by himself until the fourth watch. That's between 3 a.m. and 6 a.m. in the morning. And by this time, the sheep have gone already into the middle of the sea. Amen. And the wave was contrary. The wave was just tossing the disciple, you know, left, right. Amen. Oh, it seems as if they are going to drown, you know. And then uh, they were, so to speak, in the midst of dangers. Amen. Now, when Jesus Christ was through with his, uh, his prayer, he got back to, you know, uh, uh, got back to the, you know, uh, uh, to the water, just to thinking maybe the, I mean, got to the water, you know, probably to join the disciple, but the boat have already gone into the middle of the sea. Amen. Now, and Jesus Christ needed to join them. Amen. But now the, the boat is already in the middle of the sea. Amen. Oh, probably far away from his voice. So he could not even call them. Come back, come back. I'm ready. Come and pick me. Amen. And it was night already. Amen. It was, I mean, it was early in the morning between 3 a.m. Because the Bible says around 4, uh, the 4 was. So that's between 3 and 6 a.m. So it could be around 4 a.m. or 5 a.m. But it's in between. Amen. Now, he was there at the river, you know, the river banks all by himself. Now, he wanted, you know, he, he, he wanted, he had a desire to join the disciples. But there was a natural law that was sent to him. No, you can't join it. What was the natural law? The water. Amen. Naturally, he can't plunge into the sea. Naturally, if it does that, I mean, by law of flotations, you know, it means that, you know, he has to go right into the bottom of the sea because it's denser than the water. Amen. So he had a desire, but there was a natural law that was standing against that desire. He had a desire to judge the disciple, but there was a natural that was standing against that desire. Amen. Being in the natural mode. Amen. Now, now this explains now there are many truly in our days that are desire. They there are so many things they desire to be to achieve. There are so many places they wish they could be, but there are law, there are natural law that is what standing against them. Amen. There are husbands that are you know, there are husband and wife that are in different countries. The wife wants to join the husband, the wife had a desire to join the husband. But the wife cannot just join the husband without a visa. So the visa is like the natural law that is saying, no, you can't join your husband. Now, irrespective of a desire, irrespective of, you know, whether it was, uh, uh, irrespective of, you know, his anger or whatever. Amen. As long as the visa is not there, there is a natural law that is saying you can't join your husband. So many are actually not moving forward today. Many are not achieving their aim. Why? Because they are in the natural mode and there is a natural law that is standing against their desire. Amen. So that, I mean, that could explain, so to speak, the situation that we can see that Lord Jesus Christ was. Amen. In the natural. Amen. Then suddenly, our Lord, you know, switch into the, into the supernatural mode. Amen. He plunged into the river and began to walk 
on the water. Then the natural law became suspended because the one that is walking on the water is no longer natural. It's now supernatural. Therefore, it's not subject again to the natural law. So for his sake at that material time, the natural law has to be suspended. Amen. So he was walking. Amen. He has he has to achieve his desire, you know, and he walk on the water. Amen. Oh, the moment the disciples that wanted to go and join saw a figure approaching them. Amen. I mean, they never believe there is no man that can ever walk in, on water because that is against the natural law. So they conclude among themselves. They said to themselves, they say it's a spirit. Amen. They said, it's a spirit. Amen. If you look at verse 26, you see, and when the disciples saw him walking on the water, they were troubled, saying, it is a spirit. And they cry out for fear. Why? Because they knew there is no natural man that would default that natural law of flotation without the consequence of being drowned. Amen. So when the soldiers say, no, no, this cannot be a man. Amen. And they told them, Jesus was a natural man. Amen. And Jesus said to them, Oh, don't be afraid. It is I. Amen. Verse 27 will say, But straight away Jesus spoke unto them, saying, Be of good cheer. It is I. Be not afraid. Amen. Now, when they saw the figure come in, they have been with Jesus for some time. So they're supposed to know, he understand his shape. So even seeing him in the dark, even in the darkness, they're supposed to know, No, this, this must be like Jesus. I mean, this must be Jesus. Amen. But beyond that also, he spoke. I expect them to recognize that, oh, this is Jesus Christ speaking. But still, they don't believe. Because to them, Jesus as natural cannot, you know, disobey the law of flotation without paying the consequence, paying the price. They never knew. He has switched to the supernatural mode. Amen. So they never believed even when he spoke. That was why, he, I mean, if you, if you listen to what Peter said in verse 13, and Peter answered him and said, Lord, Lord, if it be thou, that is, he was saying, I don't believe it is you. If you, okay, if it is you, ask me to come. Amen. That is, that's what he said. It is me. I said, no. Jesus, that we know you can't do this without, I mean, you can't defer. But they never knew. He has switched into the supernatural mode. Now, friends, I speak to you, I, I, I submit to you tonight. There are times that you need to switch into the supernatural mode in order for you to achieve your desires. Amen. Now, when the natural law is standing against the achievement of your desire in life, when the natural law is there to prevent you from reaching your destination in life, then there's a need to switch to the supernatural. When you switch to the supernatural mode, then for your sake, the natural law will be suspended. For your sake, the natural law will be reversed. Amen. So that you can have your way and achieve your desire and achieve your aim. Jesus has shown us the example yes it was in the natural uh it was in the natural body but when the time of need came amen he refused the natural law to stop him from achieving his desire he switched to the supernatural mode you can switch to the supernatural mode then the natural law also will be what we suspended so there's no excuse for you not to achieve your god-given dreams in life your god uh, achieving your god-given purpose in life. Amen. If the natural law will not allow, switch over to the supernatural mode and you see yourself riding on the situations of life. I see you at every junction of life, junction of need, switching over to the supernatural mood, achieving your aim in life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I want to pray some prayers now, and I want to encourage you to please release your faith and pray this prayer, even in the name of Jesus Christ. Now, the first prayer you want to pray, you want to decree and declare in the name of Jesus that you ride above every situation and circumstance of life. Whatever situation that might appear to swallow you or circumstance, oh, that appear as if you are going to sink, you are going to go under. Amen. You want to switch, you want to decree that you switch to the supernatural mode and begin to ride upon those situations and circumstances. In the name of Jesus Christ. Are you ready to pray? say in the name of Jesus? Can you say with boldness, say in the name of Jesus, I ride 
Say, I ride, say, I ride on every situation and circumstances of life. Say, in the name of Jesus, I ride on every situation and circumstances of life. In the mighty name of Jesus, right? Open your mouth, begin to make that declaration. Open your mouth, make that declaration. No situation will swallow you. You will never go under. You will never sink in life. In the name of Jesus, whatever is meant to, whatever is meant to swallow you, ride over it, ride over it. In the name of Jesus, I decree tonight, I decree and I declare, Maradaga la bobo jagadaga. I ride on every situation and circumstance of life. In the name of Jesus Christ, no situation will take me under. No circumstance of life will swallow me. I ride on every situation and circumstance of life. In the name of Jesus Christ, whatever swallow others will not swallow me. Whatever swallow others will not swallow me. Every sit, every sinking situation, the men are sinking into going under. I ride on that situation in the name of Jesus Christ. I ride on that situation in the name of Jesus Christ. I ride on that situation in the name of Jesus Christ. I will never go under in life. Mama Maruduza, no situation will swallow me. No circumstance will swallow me. I ride on the situation and the circumstances of life. Mama Mama Ludada, Iruduza, Ilaga, Iruduga, Magada irundaga eliga gaga gaga mama durada zuzudi in the hilly under whatever that is meant to swallow me I ride on it in the name of Jesus Christ I refuse to go under 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 malobo sudara in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ in the name more Jesus Christ. Mande siteri anda lobo sheheri handa rabo sahali handa. Thank you, faithful Father. In Jesus mighty name we pray. In Jesus mighty name we pray. You want to command every shame that is targeted at you. Let the shame let it, let it expire by fire. Let it expire by fire. Say every shame. Can you say with both? Say every shame targeted at me I am not your candidate. Therefore expire by fire. In the name of Jesus Christ. Open your mouth and pray that prayer. Open your mouth. Pray that prayer. Every shame targeted at me. Every shame targeted at me. Every shame targeted at me. I am not your candidate. Expire by fire. 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 Maradaka. Raka loko jege. Raka labobo zidi ada. Gala gada gala ah, every shame targeted at me expire by fire. I am not a candidate for of any shame. I will never be put to shame in life. I will never suffer shame in life. I will never see shame in life. Every shame targeted at me. I am not your candidate. Expire by fire. 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 Marada Kosoda in Brada Sotori Anda Ye 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 Ragada Goloboza in Brado Sotari Anda Expire by fire Expire by fire Expire by fire Every shame targeted at me I refuse you I am not your candidate Expire now by fire In the name of Jesus Christ Thank you faithful father In Jesus Mighty name we pray. Amen. Now, before I pray for you now, oh, I, I, I want to connect with you supernaturally. What do you want from God? You want to cry to God now, your heart desire. And I can assure you, supernaturally, it shall be delivered unto you. Can you go ahead and make your request known unto God now? Can you go ahead and ask him what you want? Ask him what you desire. Oh, and I'm connecting with you supernaturally. Oh, 
for the for, for the delivery of your request uh, that, that tonight, even in the name of Jesus Christ. Go ahead and make your request. Go ahead and table your request. Make your petition known unto him. Supernaturally, that shall be delivery. Marada Shotorianda. It doesn't matter the law that have stood against that desire in the time power. That law shall stand no more. Supernaturally, that shall be delivery. Make your request. Ask him. Ask him what you want. Manduba, Sete, Ilia, Le Sutudada, Harada, Hurihele, Ikurada, Kuladuba, Ilinda, Manga, Dagada, Kuli, Elele, Zuri, Kalebo, Shahali, Bubu, Sahali, Holobori, Anda. Thank you, faithful Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. I pray for you tonight. Whatever law, it at told that I've been standing against. Against your desire, against you moving forward, against you fulfilling your purpose in life, that law is suspended for you now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every irreversible loss in your life is in loss of time. Have they said to you, your time has passed? Magaduru unda eli irihanda. Supernaturally, I command the reversal of that loss now. In the name of Jesus Christ, every death that is hanging on your neck, known or unknown to you, supernaturally, I command, let that death be clear away now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, whatever shame that is targeted at you, in that name that is above every other name, the name of Jesus Christ, I command the shame to expire tonight. In the name of Jesus Christ. Whatever you have requested of him, whatever you have desired of him tonight, Mandu Suta, Heli Anda, Heli Hiriada, Magadu Gaga, I command the delivery now in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, faithful Father. Blessed be your name, O Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, it is done. Amen. It is done, friend. Congratulations tonight. Oh, what a time in his presence. What a service. Now, it's time to give our offering unto God in this service now. And I want to encourage you, release your offering. Connect with the supernatural by way of your offering or your seed. You can decide to sow a seed for the supernatural or for that desire of your heart. Or you, or you want to connect with, by way of your tight unto him. I want to pray for you. Father, in the name of Jesus, Behold, this your children that have proposed in their hearts to release their offering, their seed, or their tithe to you in this service. Father, please honor their giving tonight in the name of Jesus Christ. By their giving tonight, let there be supernatural manifestation in their life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, faithful Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Friends, there's an account details, you know, uh, on the screen. You can send it at your seed or that your offering or that your tithe. And as you do so, the hand of the Lord is stretched forth to receive of you. And it will respond back adequately unto you in the name of Jesus. Can we share the grace and fellowship? May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely God's goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in us of the law forever and ever amen lift up your right hand say i am god's fire on the move say i am god's fire on the move I am God's fire on the moon. At my appearance, darkness must disappear. I am God's fire on the move. Whatever that cannot stop God will not be able to stop me. I am God's fire on the moon. Amen. One powerful hallelujah to the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. God bless you till I come your way again.